just got fired from Pam Transport because I was recording and driving for my YouTube. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. Ah, you a f***ing businessman. You want to handle it like that. You don't want to get all gangsta wild with it, right? Young female driver got let go because of social media. In this clip right here, here's a young lady that was with Pam Transport. Unfortunately, these companies are cutting down on drivers recording while they're driving. And what I mean by recording while they're driving, like, like doing content while they're driving. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. After sitting in this same spot for three days, I just now text him and ask, like, what's going on? Like, I've been sitting here three days, no load. You know, we only get a 34-hour reset. I've been in reset for 60-something hours. So I'm trying to figure out what's going on, you know? Like, oh, go to the terminal. You're... I'm like, dang, am I in trouble? I hope not. Just got fired from Pam Transport because I was recording and driving for my YouTube. Here, guys, listen. Unfortunately, this young lady haven't been with this company long enough to understand the seriousness of these companies that's cutting down on driver distractions. One of which is recording yourself while you're driving. Uh, as you guys may know, I did a spotlight on Bobby Reach where... Snyder letting him go, a guy named Tiki letting him go, a girl over at Prime got let go because of social media. Uh, there was another young lady at Warner back in the day that was let go because of social media. Look, you guys got to understand that when you get your CDLs, you have to protect your CDL at all times. What is more important? Getting out here, learning, getting your experience, making your money, or trying to do content for your YouTube and TikTok channels? I, I don't understand the scale on that, man. I don't understand that. I mean, I can understand that you want to get your your journey out there you want to share what you know in trucking with the world but there is times to do that when you shut down for your 10 hour you got time to do that when you shut down for your 30 minute you got time to do that when you shut down for your 34 you have time to do that Every other time when you're behind the wheel of a semi, it is not time for you to spend on Facebook, on TikTok, and on YouTube Live. That is not the time. It's distracted driving. Even though the camera is, you, you don't have the camera on you, you're interacting with the ch comment session. You're interacting with the chat session. So you have to look at your chat session in order to respond to what they're saying. You're engaged, meaning that your eyes is not on the road. You know, if you get into an accident, if you get into... If you get pulled over, because if you get pulled over in Ohio and you're on a live feed, you're going to get a ticket. You're going to get a citation. And that's going to be on your record. A cell phone ticket is, 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 is automatic at some places. When they pull up your PSP or your, or your MVR, and they see that you got a ticket for a cell phone, 
especially in a commercial vehicle, most companies don't want to mess with you. And here this young lady is getting terminated, a one and done. Believe me, I know. I've been there. I got I got one and done. I was I I didn't have the I didn't have the camera on me. I had the camera on my wrist and I was talking about the driver tech at the time. Somebody got a hold of the video. They sent it into US Express. I got called into the office and one and done. That's it. One and done. Don't think these companies don't know that you have social media. That's what these companies do every day, all day. They got somebody in the office just typing in the name, Pam, Swift, uh, Super Eagle. And everything that comes up under their name, like if it's hashtag Swift, hashtag uh, Super Eagle, hashtag uh, Pam, in this case right here, they're going to see. They're going to see. Oh, but that's one of our drivers. That's such and such right there. That's not good. That's distracted driving. She's not doing what she's supposed to do. So I hope, young lady, that you <laughs> that you definitely take this right here as a learning experience. Okay? As a learning experience and not record while you're driving you can record you can have a dash camera you can have you you can have a dash camera you just can't interact with your live feed if there's a live feed you can't interact with the camera you have to let the dash camera do what it's supposed to do now if you have one of them dash cameras that capture audio and yeah, as long as you're not messing with the dash camera and you don't have the dash camera on you, then yeah, you could probably do all that. Talk to yourself, sing, how to how to how to hold it, hold it, hold and all that good stuff. But if you're doing a live feed with TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, yeah, you're gonna get in trouble. You're going to get in trouble. It's a one and done with majority of these companies out here. I, I don't understand why. I, I don't understand. But again, I hope you take this as a learning lesson. Your CDL is the most valuable and the most important item that you have. You don't want to lose it for nothing. You don't want to lose your job for nothing. YouTube don't pay you what the company pay you. I mean, think about this. If YouTube is going to be paying you $1,500 a week, then yeah, do as much YouTube videos that you can. But YouTube don't pay $1,500 a week. Your trucking company does. You, you, you want to sacrifice? You want to sacrifice that for YouTube? For TikTok? All because you want to share your journey with people that you don't know, with people that that wouldn't even care about you. Only thing they're gonna do is come back in the comment section to be like, "Oh, we're sorry that happened. Oh, oh, well maybe that company didn't. Oh, oh, that company this and that company. They ain't doing nothing for you." Now you sitting here at the terminal trying to figure out what's your next move. Is the company going to, is they going to get you back home? Probably not. Let this be a learning experience for you new drivers out here that these companies are not playing. Sometimes you might want to just ask them in, in the, in the orientation. Hey, I, I got a YouTube channel. Uh, is it okay that I do some YouTube com, uh, content or what is your policies for people that has social media like TikTok and YouTube? Drivers, what advice do you have for this young lady going into the future? And have this ever happened to you? If so, let us know in the comments below. I'm like Beethoven with the bass on and me, classic kids went pop.
Death to the hater won't stop. Let's talk key scales, it won't drop. You don't even need a scale to know I'm on top. Me and Mozart, could bars, you got pops. Urge right to Tiffany, a whole symphony. You a symptom to me, but go off. Or make a masterpiece for you, or at least it's gonna hit like rum, pump, pump. Yellow fit to me like the symphony. Your career's done, done, done.